Hey guys, I want to talk to you tonight about building up your confidence when you are trying to work up to this cold approach stuff and approaching women in the real world, everyday, daily hour sort of setting. I had a fantastic conversation with a good friend of mine tonight and we were just glossing over our younger lives and we're both middle-aged men, let's say. I'm 39 as of this recording. My buddy is 42 this year and he, he confessed to me that he always appreciated and admired this trait that I've had for, mm, I don't know, a couple of years. And I mean, it kind of surprised me to, to hear him say these words out of his mouth that he has had this perception about me for a long time where he's just like, yeah, I feel like you're just natural and you can walk up to women and you can talk to them and you can make something happen. And I've always, I wish I had that sort of character trait. I've never felt that way about myself. And this led way to a very interesting conversation that we had with one another. And I was just trying to shed some of my experience and, and what I perceive to be some sort of expertise upon the matter. And I hope this rubs off on you guys and I hope you can get something out of this. But I wanted to, to express to him about why I was able to do those things. And a lot of it boiled down to a, a confidence factor, right? Now, it's, it's one thing to say that, yes, you should just be confident, right? I think we all know that. I think we all agree that 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 fact is is um, pertinent here, right? Yes, you're going to need some sort of confidence to approach women in average, everyday, rural, world, daily at hours, sorts of setting situations, right? But the real key is like, where does that confidence come from? Where does that where does that inner energy derive itself from? Okay, there's a lot of things that go into that. I think there's a lot to be said that, that could be talked about and covered about, you know, just you building yourself, yourself up as a person and, you know, growing into like whatever your passions and desires are, and building yourself up as a professional and as a man, let's say, just in general in this world. But the biggest thing that I think bolsters this sense of self-confidence is getting wins in life. Okay. And I want to, I want to correlate that. I want to, I want to connect that to specifically approaching women, right? Because it's one thing to say that like you could go out and have, you could get a fantastic job. You could make a lot of money. You could build your body up to look a certain way. You could do whatever it is that in your brain you perceive is something that women might, might want, but all of those things still fall shy. Okay. A guy with an awesome job and a guy with an awesome body and a guy with an awesome, like whatever you want to you know, term this as whatever you want to deem it as is not, that's not, those are great things. Those will help you, but that's not the winner of the game. The winner of the game is a confidence of a different sort. And this confidence is really this, like, this is our powers, man. This is that inner aura, this, this inner energy that you possess as a person, let's say as a man, you have this confidence about you that you, you just like, you know, you can go out and achieve amazing things. And you can conquer the world. You can do whatever. And it, ironically enough, there's, there's men that have not achieved anything that you've achieved as a listener of this, this talk right now. You, you could have a guy, whatever your realm of operation is, whatever your industry is that you're in, you could have a guy that's underachieved by contrast to you in, in earnings and job positioning and whatever. You could have somebody that underachieves you in those realms. But if he overachieves you in this confidence factor that I'm talking about, this deep seated, just the, the inner person that that you know, individual is, they will outshine and outperform you in the realm of conquering, or let's say attracting women. Okay. I hate the word conquering. I, I, I don't want to put it like that. Women are not objects to be like conquered and, you know, but that's not what I'm trying to convey here, but that inner confidence that can attract women, let's say they can draw them to them as a whole different realm of of being. Okay. And circling back to the beginning of the talk, like where does that confidence come from? The confidence specifically comes from getting wins. Okay. Whenever you win at something, you just accumulate this like critical mass. You accumulate this sense of like, Hey, 
I've done this once before. I can do it again. Okay, now I've done it twice. I can do it again. Now I've done it five times. I can do it again. Now I've done it 10 times. I can do it any day of the week. Now I've done it 100 times. I'm a professional. I know what the fuck I'm doing. I can do this to any woman out there in the world. I can win that game that is attraction, okay? And I'm going to make a connection here to cold approach because I'm always talking about this cold approach stuff. There is a correlatable statistical, let's say, connection here, okay? What if I told you that you could go out in the real world every day and play a game and never lose, okay? Wouldn't that seem crazy, right? You might not believe me at first glance, but I, what I submit to you guys today is that that's actually a reality. That's actually a something that you can do. And what that means in the real world when you're cold approaching women, how this relates is that you will never lose, okay, when you make offers that you're reasonably assured that you're going to win. Making offers on situations that you, you're pretty certain that you're going to win in those situations, okay? And you're not going to make offers in the situations that you're not going to win or you're, you're confident or you believe that you're not going to win in. Okay. So very suddenly, I hope that you can see that if you're only making offers on the situations where you're pretty sure you're going to win and you're not making offers in the ones where you don't think you're going to win, your success rate is going to go through the roof. Okay. If you make offers, let's say, or in other words, you ask for a girl's number. You try to solicit further attention outside the, the immediate now of a cold approach, okay? If you make offers to everybody and it's a 50-50 thing, which is quite honestly, that's kind of the way the world works, right? That's kind of a, my experience with approaching women. It's kind of a 50-50 thing. If you make offers in all those situations when you're not getting a good read on the woman's energy, when you're not sensing her reciprocal sort of positive energy coming back at you like she's interested in, in you talking to her and she's hanging there and she's talking with you and she's asking you questions and she's lingering and her body language is is facing you and it's doing all these sorts of amazing things that communicates that she's into you and that she likes the moment and she's having a good time if you make offers outside the confines of those things i just described you get rejected right it's not going to feel good your your success rate is going to go down but this is what I'm saying, guys. If you only make offers and the ones that feel good to you, if you only get a good read on the woman's energy, if you only sense those things that I just talked about, if you only see her pitching that positive energy back at you, that's communicating something to you. That's communicating that, yes, she wants to see you again. She likes your presence. She likes what you've just done. She likes the fact that you had balls to come up and talk to her in an everyday setting, she's caught off guard, it excites her, it makes her fucking pussy wet, it sends a tingle down in those nerve endings that reside in the, in the, in the deep depths of her physical body, okay, and more so in her mind, okay, you're tingling something in her mind, that's a very cool thing to think about, when you do that, though, you're going to have positive successful results okay and just like think about this guys if you were to go to vegas and i was able to tell you like don't play this table play that table okay play this one over here etc etc you're only going to win on these tables here you know i'm pretty i have a 90 percent confidence rate that you're going to win on these tables are here just because i know that just because of the read i'm getting i'm getting good good vibes i'm getting good energy Imagine if you had that same power to walk into Vegas and win your card game every single time based on those sorts of things. Women are the same exact thing in life, okay? And this is like what I'm seeking to dial back and connect to your confidence factor. You become very confident when you win over and over and over again, okay? In Vegas, if you play the, the wide range of tables that you have no idea what's going on, yeah, you're probably going to lose half the time, if not more. And that's going to suck. And that's going to that's gonna demotivate you. That's going to degrade you. That's going to take the wind out of your sails. But imagine if you walked into Vegas and you freaking hit every win on every table that you put money on. 
you would feel like the biggest baller, okay? Now think about that, guys. Think about when you're out there interacting with women, look at them in a strange way. It's kind of the same thing as playing table at Vegas. If you walk up to a woman, you're not getting good energy, you don't have a you don't have a good vibe, you don't have a sense that you're gonna win that game. Don't even throw the offer out. Don't throw your, the offer to get her number. Don't throw the offer to see her again. Let that moment go. Move on from it. Don't even make an offer. Don't give her anything to allow you to lose in that situation. Okay, you walk away from those and you gravitate and you learn to read those situations where you are getting good energy and you are getting that positive, receptive, warm I want you to be here just as much as you want to be here sort of energy out of her, right? She's still standing there. She's still lingering. She's asking you questions. She's smiling. She's doing these sorts of things that communicates to you that, yeah, she's actually surprisingly enough. I know this is crazy to you guys. She's into the moment. She's liking what you're doing. She's appreciating the fact that you're being a fucking man, that you're fucking doing something abnormal you're doing something out of the blue you're doing something that most guys don't do when you sense that guys when you feel that energy that's when you make your move and i guarantee you if you learn to make moves on the situations that are just that which i outlined the positive ones the receptive ones the ones where she's feeling you make moves on only those ones and not on the other ones that i just described your success rate is going to go through the roof. And not only that, it's going to send your confidence rate through the roof. And you know what happens when your confidence rate goes through the roof? You become unstoppable. You can get almost any woman that you desire. You can achieve almost anything that you want to do in this life. You become a god in a way. You become a powerful human being that can achieve amazing just fantastic things. If you want love, if you want career success, if you want money, if you want any number of things in this world, it's all born up out of that sense of confidence. And you get the confidence from repeated wins. Okay. I've been talking a lot about women here and that's, that's really where I want to bring it back to and keep it at. But I hope you see the the point here i hope that means something to you guys okay all right i hope you're having a wonderful day I'm talking to you